What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel and after a long time we've installed a custom room which is actually Mas 6 16 based on a MIUI 12 and I have installed this on my Redmi Note 8 which is Kingo and if you're also using a device which is supported for Mas 6 16 or still if you are using a device which is not supported for Mas 6 16 you can still use a GSI and how to install the GSI I already made a video on that a lot of times ago you can go and check it out that how you can install a GSI which are the things you get in Mas 6 16 how is this built till now is this smoothest ever because I'm using them sometime it's quite great make sure to watch this video till the end First of all, we're gonna start with the home screen and the performance. If you talk about the home screen, I'm using App Drawer and it's just super duper fast. This is Mas 6 16.0 which I've installed on my Redmi Note 8 and the performance is super duper smooth. We talk about the control center that is also very very much smooth which is one of the smoothest ever builds I have ever used because you also get the app drawer option which is super fast and swiping right you get this google feed option available in other MIUI 12 rooms you also get the app void option only but in this mass 6 16 you get by swiping right you also have the option to choose between app drawer and the app void so it all depends upon you in my case i personally use the google feed which is app app feed app drawer google app feed actually and which looks better than the app vault which is actually of no use and a lot of you guys don't use that so this is kind of great thing you can use the app drawer option which is working perfectly fine including the performance is just great and the control center is fine too if you notice in Masik, you already got these tiles are little bit of rounded in other MIUI base rooms you get these tiles are type of in square or rectangle but in Masik you get these tiles actually in the rounded shape so this is one of the great features of Masik and which are the things you get in Masik settings if you wanted to know about the Magisk safety net status or if you want to check out that device is certified or not let me just tell you if your device is certified which means Magisk safety net is passed as you can see device is certified now play protect certification which means device is certified which is one of the greatest things and I'm using Magisk 20.4 as you can see the latest Magisk 20.4 so if your device is certified you can use the Magisk latest 20.4 version you can use the banking apps but not all the banking apps will still run after using Magisk. You can choose a Magisk Hide in other cases. Maybe that works for you, but still if you're using a custom room, you might have to compromise with some of your banking apps for sure. So don't complain regarding these kind of things. These does not look nice. Now let's move on to some. So if you've noticed, I have actually applied the icon pack. So this is not a third party launcher like a Poco launcher or anything else. This is actually the default launcher. You have this option available in the theme store. Let me just show you. When you move on to the theme store, here you have some themes, wallpapers, dynamic wallpapers, ringtone phones, and this is the icon pack. Actually, I don't have the internet actually, so that's why it is not showing me. But you can see here icons, which means you can customize the icon pack, you can customize the wallpapers, you can customize fonts, ringtones, wallpapers, dynamic wallpapers, a lot more things. This is great thing that you can apply the icon pack without even applying the whole theme. As you can see, I have applied the icon pack here. You can apply some wallpapers also, but I don't like the MIUI theme store, so I don't use these wallpapers. I have chosen the Wally app from the Google Play Store, so that you can also choose the wallpapers if you like those. Now let's move on to some other thing. Let me just show you one more thing. Wait, when you go to theme store, when you go to my account, here when you go to the theme components, these are the theme components which you can customize boot audio, boot animation, lock style, status bar, messaging icons, dial pad and favorite stray. These are the things you can customize. Now let's move on to some massive customization features in the settings. First of all, let me just tell you that this is actually MIUI 12.1 by Masic MDB Limited and this one is actually Masic 16.0 but it's still based on 1st of July 2020 security patch. It didn't got the August security patch yet but maybe in day or two we will get the August security patch update very soon so just stay tuned for that. This is MIUI 12.1 by Masic MDB Limited which has an Android version of 10 and I have installed this on my Redmi Note 8. SIM cards and mobile networks, WLE and Bluetooth connection sharing have no extra features, everything is the same here. 
when you go to the lock screen you have some little bit of options like always show notifications so that you can always show the unread notifications on the lock screen this is the feature you don't get in all the MIUI 12 based builds but in some builds only you also have the side panel shortcut customization and we have the charging animation which was present in almost all the MIUI 12 builds but this is kind of a great thing in the terms of performance and some lot of things if we talk about the display, we have the same features, reading mode, dark mode, it's sick you can customize the text size and the font weight. When you go to the system animation, you can customize the system animation like linear, wave, scale or fold. So it all depends upon you, you can customize whichever animation you like. In settings, you will not feel any animation changes here. But in some cases, you will see like in Play Store while scrolling and in some other apps which supports these kind of things. You can also change the interpolation to linear, acceleration, approximation or bounce. You can customize the status bars, control center like you can use the new control center, hide the info toggle and you can also switch the control center side if you want to. You can customize number of notification icons on the status bar which is kind of a great thing. A dual network icon option available if you are using two sims then you will see two sims straight there without without even just taking the full space on the status bar connection speed lte icon and you can also customize your battery icon style to android or miui and customize the battery indicator to graphical percentage in percentage out only percentage or just block whatever you want to choose you can choose that one hide alarm icon and hide bluetooth icon We also get the option of screenshot in any app which is kind of a great thing like some apps just block the screenshots from their apps but with the help of this you can use the screenshot option in this app in any android app which is just not supported for the screenshots sound and vibration notification and when you go to the home screen you have the option of icon title style change you can as you choose the icon title style in one line two line or a running line like a more cute text Number of columns in folder, thumbnail rotation in recent apps is kind of very new thing which you get in Masic only. Hide levels in the bar, automatic losing of folders and these kind of things. When you go to the standard options, some default launcher settings and this is on the zero screen which you can customize to AppVault or Google or whichever you like. And other things are just same, nothing changes, no new things are available. Wallpaper if you go here you have the super wallpapers, some extra system wallpapers options like Masic, these are the Masic wallpapers, Nebula which is kind of live wallpaper and some Mars live wallpapers options. You also get the super wallpapers which you can customize home or if you open the additional settings and go to the developer options, here we have the header style option customizations. Like now it's in large which means developer options are here and if you scroll up these developer options title is still there. And if you choose it to dynamic now it's there and if you scroll up wait let me just show you just go back once and now open the developer options. We have just chosen a dynamic one and now it's there and if you scroll up you will see there is a change in developer options it's just listed here. And at last if we choose the small option so just go back and open the developer options and you will not see any developer options header there it's in small way so this is the thing which you get in masic only what one of the greatest things extended power menu demo mode and quick setting developer tiles which has a window animation scale layout bounds and these kind of things and just scroll down let me just show you one more thing if you go to the windows animation scale we have a lot of things available off to 5x so these are another cool thing transition animation scale and animation duration scale which you can customize yes these are available in all other builds also but these kind of things are some little bit of heavy one in which you can customize these kind of things and these were all the things about the Mass 6 16, the latest one available for a lot of devices. And if you have the device which is supported for Mass 6 16, you can install the build right away. And if you have a device which is not actually supported for Mass 6 16, you can use the GSA, of course. Now, this was all from today's video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, the subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.